خدا میں رضوی ہو الحمدللہ وی آ ان دی منت اب ربی الاخر and taking the blessings of the first 11 days of the month of Sarkari Hawsi Azam Jilani al-Baghdadi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu Huzur Hawsi Azam radiyallahu anhu's maqam and his martaba is one that in reality cannot be understood but this much we do understand is that he is not just a wali but he is imamul awliya he is the leader and he is the chief of all the awliya allah and all of them take their blessings from the court of sarkari house park رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ there is a hadith of the beloved rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم where the beloved rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم says من یرد اللہ به خیرا من یرد اللہ به خیرا یفقہه فی الدین وَإِنَّمَا أَنَا قَاسِمُ وَاللَّهُ يُؤْتِهِ The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when Allah wills to place His special blessings of goodness upon somebody then He makes him a faqih of the religion. He gives him in-depth knowledge of the religion. He gives him the samaj of deen, deep samaj of deen. So the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying مَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يُفَقِّحُ فِي الدِّينِ وَإِنَّا مَا عَنَا قَاسِمٌ وَاللَّهُ يُعْتِهِ Hadith is reported in Mishkat Sharif and gives reference to both Bukhari and Muslim that the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whomsoever Allah wills to send his special blessings and his khair upon then Allah makes him a faqih of deen he makes him understand the deen better than everybody else and after that, after saying that, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, وَإِنَّمَا عَنَا قَاسِمٌ وَاللَّهُ يُعْتِهِ And verily, I am the distributor. I am the one who distributes. And Allah is the one who gives. Allah is the giver. And I am the distributor. Before that, Rasul Ipaq is telling you in the hadith that if Allah wills to be giving his special blessings of goodness to somebody, then he makes him a faqih of the deen. He gives him the knowledge, in-depth knowledge of the fiqh of the deen, the understanding of the deen. And then the Nabi says, and indeed, I am the distributor and Allah is the giver. Now, when it came to Sarkari Hose Ipaq, رضي الله عنه indeed he was a faqih indeed Allah had chosen him to give him the most beautiful understanding of deen in his time and thereafter even if you look at the life of Sarkari Hose Paak رضي الله عنه you will see this and over the last few nights I have been delivering some brief talks at Imam Mustafa Razali Sat Center discussing the life and the spiritual journey of the awliya in the court of Sarkari Hose Paak and I'm going to give you a few glimpses of what we are discussing very quickly so you understand. The Sarkari Ghose Paak radiyallahu anhu, look at this hadith. Look at this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Especially the latter of the hadith. The ending words of the hadith where the Birab Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying and verily I am the distributor and Allah is the giver. And you remember the time when the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's beloved, the garden from the Fatima, from the, 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 the rose from the garden of Fatima and Hassan and Hussein. Hazrat Hussain, Sheikh Mahyuddin Abdul Qadir al-Jilani radiallahu was being asked to lecture to the people. Because you must know Ghose Paak was not an Arab. Sarkari Ghose Paak was not an Arab, he was a Persian. But Sarkari Ghose Paak radiallahu 
language and his knowledge was so deep because he had attained the special blessing from the God of Almighty Allah. So when Ghazi Pak radiallahu an was requested by the people and everybody was saying that Shaykh Abdul Qadir should deliver lectures. So Sarkari Ghazi Pak used to think to himself that I have this knowledge that Allah has given me but I'm a Persian. This was his humility. Arabic is not my own language. And the fluency with which Arabs speak it, I may not be able to speak it. And what happened? He sees in his dream the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commands him, O oh, Abdul Qadir, address the people. Speak to the people. Says, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I'm not an Arab. I, what if I'm not able to speak with their fluency? The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa says, Abdul Qadir, address the people. And the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa then takes his lu'ab dahan he takes his sacred saliva and he puts it into the sacred mouth of Sarkari Ghose Pak. Radiallahu, I'm just being brief. And thereafter you found in that same that Sayyidina Ali did also. But one time less than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Rasul Pak sallallahu put his lu'ab dahan in the sacred mouth of Sarkari Ghose Pak radiallahu. Before I tell you any more about this, think for a moment, what is the maqam of that zaban? What is the shan of that zaban and what is the eloquence of that zaban? That the lu'ab dahan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is being placed inside. And I said this as I was lecturing on the last few nights. That think about it for a moment. That the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's lu'ab dahan falls into a salty well and it becomes bira shifa. It falls into a salty well, it becomes bira shifa. Mawla Ali radiallahu comes on the day of Khaybar to Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa with an infected eye. Rasul Pak puts his lu'ab at dahan and he becomes Fatah Khaybar. Think of it for a moment. One Sahabi comes to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa His eye has come out during a battle. His eye has come out of the socket. The beloved Rasul puts his lu'ab at dahan and puts his eye back. He says, I never saw better with that eye in my life again. Hey, this is the ma'ajaza of the lu'ab dahan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sacred saliva of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now can you imagine that being put in the mouth of Sarkari Ghazi Pak radiallahu ta'ala in the dream by Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then Shaykh Abdul Qadir is commanded to lecture. Ghazi Pak radiallahu anhu, we are only talking about the lecture. Ghazi Pak radiallahu anhu used to lecture to the people thereafter. First in Jamia Nizamia in Baghdad Sharif at his university. And really those were real universities, real place of knowledge, the knowledge of deen, the knowledge of the ilm that he has achieved from the court of Almighty Allah, achieved from the court of Almighty Allah through the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sarkari Ausipak first in his madrasa, then there was no place. Then moved to another place, there was no place, it continued like this, till it moved to the biggest maidan. But as far as the eye could see, there used to be people sitting in the mahfil of Sarkari Ausipak. Radiallahu ta'ala an and the karamat of Ausipak, you heard many times, the karamat of Sarkari Ausipak radiallahu was like the person heard him in the front. There was no mic system. There was no electricity. There was no way to get the sound to the people there. Sarkari Ausipak, like the person sitting at his foot, could hear him. The person right at the end of the maidan on the edge could hear him in the exact same tone. There was no difference in the tone in which they were being heard. What was this? This was the blessing that Allah gave him in his zuban and in his power of speech that by the lu'ab and dahan of Rasulullah entering his mouth, not only did it make him eloquent, it allowed his, his words to reach the ears of the people to the corners of where he was sitting. And not only that, it didn't only reach their ears, it reached their hearts also. It reached their hearts also. When Sarkari Ghose Pak used to deliver his lectures, when he used to speak, there was not a mahfil from which janazas never used to come out. There was not a mahfil. Today we give lectures. How many people listen? How many people follow? How many people take heed? How many people after Juma walk out and say, I want to make amal upon this, what I heard? How many people will go home and put your family together and say, this is what we heard today? How many people will strive? Whom oh, Allah gives tawfiq. But that mahfil of Ghazi Pak radiallahu anh, leave alone people afterwards thinking about how they're going to change their lives. When Ghazi Pak used to speak and if he asked people to repent from sins and he said, repent from 
stealing, repent from lies, repent from fornication and adultery. If there was somebody in that gathering that did that, they would repent so sincerely and the fear of Allah would enter their heart to such a level that their ruh used to come out. Some of them. Their souls used to leave. They would pass away in this condition of making tawbah. Is it not a lesson to us? How many times in a day do we make tawbah? Think about it. How many times in a day do we ask Allah to forgive us for our sins? Today, people have become so lost in dunya. They have become so lost in sinning that they don't even regard it as that anymore, many people. Eh? You tell the people to follow some dunya we rule, follow immediately. Because a scientist said this. Because the doctor said this. Because this one said that. Because that one said that. But you say the Shariat says it is difficult to solve. What is the reason for that? The reason is because the sin darkens the heart. The heart is like a mirror. The heart is like a mirror. It is there to reflect the tajalliyat of the ma'rifat of Almighty Allah. It is there to reflect the love of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But when a man starts sinning continuously, every day and night and he doesn't even bother about it doesn't do anything to make tawbah or to rectify his life also that mirror starts becoming black that heart like how you take a mirror what are you supposed to do in it see a reflection see yourself today we cannot see ourselves in our hearts we cannot see our own reflections if we look for our own reflections we will be ashamed at what is our condition when Hose Pak radiallahu an looked at his heart he saw the reflection of the marifat of Almighty Allah. He saw the tajalliyat of the beloved Rasul. Sallallahu ta'ala What are we seeing? Look, we say do some soul searching. What do you find when you look into yourself? These pious servants of Allah looked into their hearts and their hearts were not just shining mirrors. The heart of Hose Park was not just a mirror. Hose Park's heart was a fountain of nur. It was an ocean of nur. Whoever got attached to his heart, he became Nurani also. Even so many generations down this line, eh, so many generations, Hosea Park was towards the end of the 5th century. So many generations from then to now, because of our nisbat to our Budurgani Deen, and their nisbat to their Budurgani Deen, and their nisbat to their Budurgani Deen, and their nisbat to their Budurgani Deen, until it went to Hosea Park, we have at least got one spark of that Nur that we are connected to Sarkari Hosea Park. Allah. Don't we think that that little we should, it may be little in our sight, but if you really look at it, it will cause the entire heart to glow. What do we do to change the condition of our heart? It's a question. Since we're talking about the awliya, what do we do to change the condition of our hearts? How many of us think that yes, I've read my five times salah, but how many of us think that when I get up, let me get up for a little while at night, and stand up for two rakats in the court of my Rabb. Let me ask Tawbah in the darkness of night when everybody is sleeping and nobody can see me. And ask Allah to forgive me and send His special blessing upon me and elevate me in His court and in His qurb. We strive for all the worldly purposes. I started, if I started in a company packing the shelves, I do not want to remain, remain a shelf packer all my life. Next stage, I want to become the manager of that floor. I want to think of something else. Finally, your dream is to become a CEO. One day, I must head an entire company. We want to be so prosperous and we want to, uh, to, 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 to excel so much in the dunya. But how much are we planning to excel in our spiritual lives? How much do you try? Look at the life of Sarkari Hose Park. Look at the maqam of Sarkari Hose Park. The beloved Rasul, and coming back to what I just said. People start to ask, how is it that Hose Park radiallahu an has got such power of distribution? How he has received this maqam of such qurb in the court of Almighty Allah? How has he become so close and dear in the court of Allah and his beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Because Hose Park strived his entire life to be close in the court of Almighty Allah. Day and night he made mahnat. Not only Hose Park, from the day that he was born, his mother strived to make him a true servant of Almighty Allah. Even though he was born a wali, but his mother strived. How many of our mothers are striving for this today? 
How many of our wives and our daughters are striving for this with their children today? Today we want to make them and bring and come stand in front of church and see how you can do this dance and song. This is why it's such a burahal. The child doesn't even know how to read A, B, C. But he knows how to hold the tab in his hand and play video games. That same child doesn't know how to read Bismillah rahman rahim What is the reason for this? Have we not learned from the mother of Sarkari Hose Park how to bring up a child? Have we not learned from the pious women how to bring up our children? We say we want our children to be pious. It's sad. We are all included except for those whom Allah has given this piety. We say this, but what do we do to make that effort? Sarkari Hose Park's mother made effort. She made effort to bring her child to this level. And when she made the effort, and Sarkari Ghosipat made mahnat for the pleasure of Allah, then Allah granted him this wilayat. Wilayat is not something that you can get by your effort. You make the effort, Allah gives it to whom he wills. And Sarkari Ghosipat made this effort. Allah gave him wilayat. Allah gave him this level of being a wali. But not just a wali, Allah made him imamul awliya. And he, this, he became that wali, that till qiyamah, Whichever wali comes in the words of Hazrat Khidr alayhi salatu wasalam. Hazrat Khidr says that those who came in the past and those who will come in the future, every one of them will respect and honor Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Every one of them will respect and honor Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani radiallahu What does it teach you? It explains what the other awliya have said, that Sarkari Hosepak is that personality, that he takes the ma'rifat, the drink of ma'rifat, from the court of Allah, which Allah bestows upon him, through the sacred hand of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he distributes it among the people, because the Nabi says, Inna wallahu yawti. I am the distributor, Allah is the giver, I distribute it to Abdul Qadir, and Abdul Qadir distributes to the awliya until qiyamah. That is why Sarkari ala hazrat, Azimul Barakat radiallahu says, Kyu na qasim ho? Ke tu ibn Abil Qasim ho? Kyu na qasim ho? Ke tu ibn Abil Qasim ho? Kyu na qadir ho ke mukhtar hai baba tera? Why this should not be the case? That you are the distributor when your forefather sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the master of distribution from the court of Allah. And why should you not have power when your forefather sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the mukhtar? He's the maliko mukhtar. He's the one who can give jannah to whom he wants. He can take whatever he wants from whom he wants. Sarkari Ghosip Park is the rose from that garden. So when we are making the urs of Sarkari Ghosip Park, when we are remembering Ghosip Park, when we are taking the barakat from the court of Ghosip Park, remember this is a chain of light. It is a chain of ruhaniyat that is coming down. If you are fortunate enough to be truly connected to him through a Kamil Sheikh, then you are very, very fortunate. You are getting a drop even from that drink of mercy, from that drink of love, which Sarkari Ghosip Park Radhiallahu drank and he said, Sharib tum fudati min ba'di sukri, wala niltum ulubi wa tishali, maqamukum ulula jam'au, wala kin maqami fawkakum mazala ali. He said, all the awliya, whoever got what they got, they got it from Abdul Qadir, drank and left, but still they can't reach the maqam of Shaykh Abdul Qadir. They can't reach the maqam of Abdul Qadir because each of them excels after they drank from Abdul Qadir. And Abdul Qadir excels because he drank from Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. If we understand this, we will understand how fortunate we are. How khushnaseeb we are. That we are Qadri. Whether you are Chishti, Suharwardi, Naqshabandi, everybody. He cannot go anywhere without Sarkari Hose Park radiallahu anh. Because Mazra'i Chisht, Bukhara o Iraq o Ajmer. Mazra'i Chisht, Bukhara o Iraq o Ajmer. Kaun si kishta pe barsa nahi jhala tera. All of them love Sarkari Hose Park. And they have received this maqam through the barakat of Sarkari Hose Park radiallahu Allah keep us truly in the love of Sarkari Hose Park. And all the awliya, all the mashayik, ohan the haq, all the true servants of Allah. May Allah keep us in their shape. Because it is to the barakat of that we will get success here and we will get success in the hereafter. Whether it is Sarkare Ala Hadrat Adimul Barakat, whether it is Sarkare Khajai Gharib al Nas, whether Hadrat Sayyidina Mufti Azam Radiallahu, whether it is Huzur Sayyidi Taj Sharia, whether it is Huzur Sayyidina Ahsanul Ulama, whose Ursa Mubarak is on the 15th of this month. Whoever of them of these Buddhagan you, you look at, the Mashaik of Maharaj, the Mashaik of Kalpi, the Mashaik of Bilgiram, whoever of them, the Mashaik of Bareli Sharif, all these only are together are drinking from the court of Sarkari Hose Park from the fountain of Hose Park and look at them Hose Park says 
This is your maqam. You are so exalted. But all of you put together can't reach the maqam of Abdul Qadir. Eh? So how khush nasib we are. That we have such great nisbat. Keep the nisbat strong. How you keep it strong? Stay away from Wahhabis. Stay away from Deobandis. Stay away from Shias. Ravzis and their agents. The Sulha Kullis. The agents of unholy unity. Protect your Iman from them. Protect this light which you got from the court of Hosepa. Protect it which you got through your Mashaykh and Abu Dhul Din. Protect it. Keep it safe. If that light remains safe, it is the light. You know what is that light? It is the light of the Ma'rifat of Allah and the Ishq of Rasulullah. And if you keep that light safe, then what's going to happen? Lahda mein ishq rukhay shah ka daag leke chale. Andheri raad suni thi chiraam leke chale. When you go in your grave, that light will become the lamp of your cover. And it will brighten your cover. You will not be in a dark place. And how are you going to get that light? Tere gulamu ka nakshay qadab hai rahe khuda. You have to follow the footsteps of the pious servants of Allah. Tere gulamu ka nakshay qadab hai rahe khuda. Wo kya bahak sake jo ye surah leke chale. Those who are in our community, Allah grant them shifa. Those that are going through the taklif and parishani, Allah ta'ala grant them ease from their difficulty. Continuously make dua for the Sunni Muslims of Palestine.